All right, so this is going to be an Amazon item review. This is the multifunction folding stool. It's created as a portable toilet, um, but you can use it as like a trash can or just as a stool or as a table. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. So we'll take a look here. They have like all these things on the label. You can see here, folding stool. Okay. And there's item number, it's two kilograms. You can see the size, 300, it can carry, it says 300 kilograms. I think it holds like 630 something pounds. Uh, folding stool, storage stool, outdoor toilet, trash can. Yeah, whatever you want to use it for. Oh, they have this barcode here. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Okay, they have this. I don't know why it doesn't matter which side up. There's a carrying handle on this box, so if you want to use this box to keep it stored in there. But uh, anyways, they have these pull tabs to get it open. So I'm going to open this out. It's, these things are always kind of difficult to remove. So get that open. There we go. We'll open the box carefully. And like this. And here you can see it's covered with some bubble wrap here. All right, I have smaller versions of this that I did a video of, okay? Here you can see what that looks like, but uh, the smaller ones, they don't open up. Okay, so there's the bubble wrap. This is what the item looks like. Okay, it comes with these rubber feet for grip. I thought it would have already been on there, but uh, yeah, it comes with these little feet for grip. You can see. <clears throat> Telescopic, telescopic stool 7.0 there's locks for the cover there's handles and it opens like that okay okay turn 90 degrees to open the handle make sure both cover lock uh, locks are locked grasp the handle with both hands and pull the folding stool to the height you want if you can't pull it uh, if you can't pull it off you need to be stronger so if you can't open the stool then you need to be stronger Right, adjust the height you want and put the handle on back, then enjoy sitting time. Maximum bearing of 300 kilograms. Open the locks to open the covers. It can change to a stool to put garbage bags in, and it can be a trash can or an outdoor toilet. Right, you can grab the handle with both hands and pull a little and turn clockwise to make sure all the buckles uh, are in the rail guide, guide rail, and then you can fold the stool. Okay, all right. And there you go. You can use for all these things. Obviously, you can use for whatever you want. Camping, housing, climbing, fishing, take on public transport, <laughs> touring, and walking your pet. Okay. And to ensure safety, check that all support points are in the correct position when you sit down. Okay. So, the small version doesn't have this handle. It just has two little holes for your fingers to go in. But uh, this is what the giant one looks like. Okay, it has little spots where you put the adhesive in, or not the adhesive, the little rubber feet. Make sure you put those rubber feet in because you don't want to like get this all scratched up. So, yeah, and I don't know why it has these holes here. They put little covers there, so I don't know, but make sure this is locked down. Okay, it has this carrying handle, strap handle here, um, and then you can also kind of take this out to use like as a shoulder strap but anyways let's go ahead and open this so you have these handles okay they fold down and fold up so you pull on this you do have to kind of twist it so let's see counterclockwise or clockwise wow this one's actually it's stuck on something here okay so there we go so pull it and you can see how the shape looks like that so it locks in like this so you turn it, um, I don't know how you would turn it that way to lock it. So you can see you can make it short like this. Okay. And this one actually goes the tallest. Um, I think the price that I had, because I have a business price, it's a little bit cheaper, a few dollars cheaper. But this one's expensive, $50. There was a $5 coupon. So... Basically with tax and everything it's already I mean even with after tax the five dollars basically cancels out almost So basically about fifty dollars. Um, it's a little bit more again if you're buying it with a regular account 
But anyways, we're gonna open this. And this one expands the tallest of all the ones that I saw for this. So this you can use kind of as a table. Let me see if I can show this. There's so much stuff here. Let me zoom out. Okay, so you can use that as a table. And then if you wanna see a comparison, I have these small ones. I did a video of that. This one has these little holes that you kind of use to kind of twist. So similar idea. You can see it's a little bit shorter than this one, uh, about an inch and a half to two inches. And what you can do is these things, because they're height adjustable, you can make like a short one. Okay, so you can make it like shorter or taller like that. And oops, like that. And you can actually use it to sit and have like a table here. So now that you have that, you have like a nice table, okay? Um, and then because this has these locks, you can use it as a toilet. So let me show you here. Okay, so we'll set the small one aside. This one also, the springs aren't noisy. On this one, <clears throat> this one, the springs, if you hit it, it makes noise. So if your car is like on a bumpy road, it'll make some noise. But uh, this one seems to like not have that noise thing. So we're gonna pull this, twist it closed again. Okay, and even closed, it doesn't make that noise. Okay, so this, like you can see, you can make it like shorter if you want. You can use it as a stool, you can use it as a table. Pretty nice big surface. Okay, and then, oops, let me open it all the way. Again, you wanna check, make sure it's locked in place because you don't wanna accidentally fall down uh, when it's not clipped all the way. Then you have these locks, you pull them out like this and you can open it. So here you have like a big open container. If you want, you can even like leave it locked and then so you can store st stuff in here and then you can lock this. The lock, you have to kind of like pull it forward while you close it and then you can like carry it as like a container with stuff in it. But if it's heavy, obviously it's going to pull the weight down and extend it all the way. So anyways, you can open this and you can also open this. So. If you want, you can put like a trash bag in here on this side, okay? Just like regular trash bags. Then you can put this lid down and you can use it as a toilet. So you can sit in there. The shape is even like a little bit more opened here. It doesn't, yeah, it's not like a perfect circle. So it's actually like a toilet. You can like sit on it. Yeah, and you can use it as a toilet. Okay, so comfortable the opening is pretty big let me see if I have a toilet seat to compare the opening so hold on I'll be back all right I'm back so here's a standard toilet seat and uh, um, let me see how can I compare the size here so here's a toilet seat thing okay and it's actually very close to the size of a standard toilet seat opening maybe like at most a centimeter shorter. So if it was cut a little bit here, a little bit more, it would be like a standard toilet seat. Okay, so yeah, that's um standard, like the short toilet seat. Um, they do have elongated toilet seats. This one is not like that. So it's the, the more standard, like shorter toilet seats that you have in a house. Okay. So again, you can use it as a trash can. You can just put the bag there. You can throw trash in. Let me try with the small bags just to see. Okay, so I have like this standard size trash bag, the red and white one that you would buy like at Costco. Okay, not the giant black one, just the standard white one. So let's see here. Then you can go ahead and put the bag in like this. Okay. Yeah, and it does fit these standard size bags, okay? You don't need the giant black ones. And then you can close this up and you can use that as a toilet. So pee in there. Um, I heard someone uh, in a review said that the springs can kind of puncture the bag, but it really depends what you put in there. I guess if you're throwing a whole bunch of trash and then you're taking it out, the bags might get like pushed out against the springs and caught on it. 
So keep that in mind. Okay. But uh yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, pretty comfortable um, as a toilet. And it looks like it will work well. So the only thing, again, is if you fill the bag way too high, then obviously you're going to have some issues there. So keep that in mind. If you are planning to use this for, like, garbage or for using it to use the restroom for a long time and not, not changing the bag out, um, then keep that in mind that you might have issues with the spring damaging the bag. Uh, one way to get around that is you can put like three bags in there. So that way you're just lifting out the middle bag or the inside bag. So that way the outer bags hopefully won't, uh, will, hopefully the outer bags will protect it from the springs. Okay. Um, not really much else to go on about it. Um, we'll actually put the rubber feet on. I don't know what these holes are for. Um, you want to be careful not to carry it all the weight by the handle here. I mean by the lid. Okay, the lid isn't like super strong or anything. You can see how it's like flexing back there. So this is more just to keep it in place. I feel like they should have made this lid fall all the way backwards so you don't accidentally break it like if you lean on it or something. But um, that's how they designed it. Okay. So we got that. Let's go ahead now and clip this back. Um, the clips... Are actually a little bit scary because you can see like how the plastic is white here so I feel like over time this is gonna break anyways to close it again you push on the middle and pull back here so it's kind of like flexing it outwards and then you can easily clip it if you just try and like push this on it doesn't clip easily so you have to kind of push the middle in pull it back and there we go easy clip okay we'll open the handles so you can see which way the things go. So we have to twist it now so that they disengage just like that. And there we go. So let's go ahead now and put the little things in place. Give me a second. I'm going to lower the camera down. Okay. Make sure you close the handles. And we can put the little rubber feet in there. So, okay. Yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to this. It does feel very sturdy, uh, very good uh, quality and well built. The only thing, again, the clips seem like they might break. Um, and the problem with that is if the clips break off, um, you can't open and close this because you need the clips to be closed to be able to grab at the middle. If you try and like pull at an angle like this, you're going to end up breaking it. I mean, I guess you could in a pinch, if you broke the things off, you can hold it like that <laughs> or have someone help you hold, have someone help you hold the other side. But uh, yeah, if you break the, the clips and the lid just like falls out, um, keep that in mind. You're going to have a tough time. I heard some stuff like rattling in there. So I was like, and I don't know what this blue thing is. Hopefully that's not a necessary part of this from the inside. Let me actually open this back up and double check. Okay, we'll open this without, can we open this here? Without extending it all the way. So this is what it looks like in the fully collapsed mode. Okay, and you wanna be careful again, like opening this without the thing engaged. But you can see how you can like kind of shake it up and down. So if you're a pro, you can probably like and twist it and there you go. So, <laughs> well, there we go. Anyways, I don't think that blue plastic is from this because I don't see anything that has blue plastic in here. So let's go ahead now and just close this back up and put the rubber feet on. All right, so yeah, nice portable toilet. Oops. Did I not I'm twist it? Away? Hmm, it doesn't seem to want to collapse all the way now. Did I clamp something there? Or maybe it's like that. Okay. Oh yeah, it's clamped better. 
Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna put the little rubber feet on and that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll find this product useful. Um, it is a bit heavy feeling, um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else they would use to make it like lighter and still sturdy. So I think they said this is made of ABS plastic. Okay. And yeah. I might have to do this off camera, but here's one of them. All right. And then, yeah, it's just like a rubbery thing so that you have some grip there. So it won't slide around. Yeah, it grips a lot. <laughs> So it's pretty good, All right? If I'm holding it and I try and push it now, it's not really moving. So the rubber grip feet are really good. Uh, make sure to put those on and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put all these, let me see, does it come with extra? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Four, eight, 12. So you don't get any extras of these. So hopefully these feet don't fall off and get lost because if you lose them and they fall off, then you don't have any backups. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.